My crew is on top. We doing big things. I really feel like we've been waiting for this all season. Really exciting. Our whole county is probably going to be there. I'll establish our legacy and try to be one of the greatest teams Leo's ever had. We doing big things. We've, we've got to take some steps if we want to play with the big boys. You know, we think we've taken some steps. We'll see if, if, if it's enough this Friday. You know, a year ago, we were kind of in the same boat opening our our new facility and gave you a little something extra. My crew is on top. Just flying around being fast because that's what our defense does. Just being physical with them. We can't really back down. Nothing can stop us. Well, there has been a football facelift at the courtyard, but who's going to be the king of the Northeast State when it's all said and done? Yeah, week three here on the Highlight Zone already, and that means conference play getting underway for most team teams. That's certainly the case in the NE8, where Andy McDonald was down in ASEAN for your Game of the Week, and he joins us now with more. Andy. Hey, thank you, Glenn. With wins against Woodland and Angola, Leo, they look pretty good in non-conference play. Norwell, very much the same. The Knights coming in 2-0, outscoring their opponents 96-7. Leo, at Norwell, it's your highlight zone game of the week. The home opener for the Knights, that means the first time they play on the turf. Leo, 13th and 4A. Norwell, 14th and 3A. Knights, early on their defense, Joel Rinkenberger, Coming up with a big stop there in the backfield. Then the interception for Leo. Defense is playing well. Damian Gutekunst picks it off, but the Lions, they are backed up. And watch this, early score, Quinn Drybend. The safety inside the Lions' own end zone. It's 2-0 at the half. Knights up by a pair of free throws. Late, early in the third quarter, off the upright. That would have gave Norwell the lead. Instead, Leo coming the other way. They would hit it. Jackson Barber up top. Grayson LaRock stumbles inside of Norwell territory. It's 2-0 still into the fourth quarter when Carson McCauley hit boot is true. He gives Leo a 3-2 advantage. Less than three to play. Fourth and seven. Eli Riley making a play for the Knights. Finds Blake Halflick over the middle to stay alive. And then watch this play. Might be a Gem of the night nominee when it matters most. Riley, the strike. Peyton Wall, safety out of nowhere. One-handed interception, 85 yards. He brings it all the way back to the house, but not so fast, my friends. Penalty on Leo will bring it all the way back for Norwell. They have another chance from 46. Chris Bear, just a couple yards short. Lots of ways to describe this game, but one way, Leo, a winner, 3-2, the final. I got to the, down in the end zone, and I started walking. I was gassed, and I come back, so I was called back. I, I lost all hope. I thought we, we was done. How did you keep hope then? Uh, keep hope then. Uh, our coach said, we got to make another play. That's what we did. Our, all our defense came together and made another play. Yeah, I just told him he had to just keep his keep mentally in it and, and be ready to go back out and play another down. I know he was he was tired, you know, after that run, and so he just had to kind of regroup physically and mentally and be ready to go play again. He got to hand it to our kids. They they battled, fought, and and hopefully now they believe that they can hang with the good teams in our league. And uh, we're excited about the future, and we'll we'll watch the film and we'll get better. As for next week, Norwell hosts a Belmont while Leo travels to New Haven. Glenn, back to you. Three to two. Three to two. What a game. Hey, 